One of my favorite ways to add character and dimension to my vocal tracks is by using some sort of vocal transformation plugin. The Little Alter Boy plugin from Sound Toys is definitely a favorite in the production community. I've used that one for a long time, but lately I've been checking out the Vocal Bender plugin from Waves. I've also used stock plugins in the past. Point is, there's a lot of different ways that you can get this effect. And in today's video, I wanna show you just a couple different ways how I personally like to mess around with the pitch and format of my vocal tracks and just add a little depth and dimension to different vocal parts and different sections of my tune. So let's dive in and check out the first example. So this is my song Morning Light and as you can see there are a ton of vocal layers. Yeah, I used Little Alter Boy all over this song. It was really one of the first productions where I was really kind of starting to experiment with this sort of effect. So let me show you a couple of different places in the tune where I think it's used really well. I can see the sunlight filling up the room. We were just hanging to bottles all over the floor. What we do, I don't remember. Daylight, you make it clear. You're not there when I reach for you. And I don't want to let this feeling fade. No. Cool. So, as I'm sure you could probably hear, we've got my main vocal part. And then underneath it, Got a bunch of ad libs, got a bunch of other little parts that are pitch shifted and formant shifted. So let's take a listen to that. I can't see the sunlight filling up the room. We were just hanging to bottles all over the floor. What we do, I don't remember. Now, the cool thing about this is all of these tracks here are all formant shifts and pitch shifts of the original verse vocal. So you'll see I have two different low vocals. They're both pitch shifted down an octave and one has a little bit more of a formant shift. I can't see the sunlight filling up the room. We were just hanging to bottles all over the floor what we do i don't remember daylight so that's one way you can use it i also like to just mess around with the format let's take a listen I to this so even though you're not changing the pitch at all, when you mix this in with your lead vocal, it sounds like there is a different voice singing along with your lead vocals. Now, this is Midnight Static. Coincidentally, another song that I'm working on with my friend Javi, but this is very much a work in progress. And I just want to check out a couple sections with you and show you how I'm using these vocal transformation plugins to just add some layers. So in this pre-chorus section here, originally we just had Javi's main vocal, my vocal, which is doubling Javi an octave down, and that was it. So let's listen to those two layers together. So Sounded all right so far, but I had Javi double his vocal part, and then I added vocal bender to the right and the left vocal part. You could see on one, I'm just adjusting the formant down a little bit. And then on one, I'm slightly boosting the formant just to make it sound like there's some more voices singing along with Javi and I. So let's take a listen. And already, for my ear, it sounds so much better. You've got the added width from those two vocal doubles, panned right and panned left. It's just a slight change, but it really makes a big difference. Now, I wanted to check out Vocal Bender because it's a plugin that works with zero latency. So you can sing or talk into this plugin and hear the effect back in real time without any latency, which is obviously useful in the studio, but also for live performances. So it was a plugin that I wanted to check out and I've been playing around with it on this tune. If we were to pull up Little Alter Boy, for example, let's just compare these two for a second. One thing I do notice right off the bat is the format knob on Vocal Bender only allows you to make adjustments in whole numbers, whereas the formant over here on Little Alter Boy allows you to fine tune your adjustments a little more, which as silly as that seems, it is useful. But let's do a quick little sound comparison. You 
It's interesting. I like them both for different reasons. I think pitch shifting something up, the little altar boy does a little bit better of a job. But at least for this vocal, I think the vocal bender was handling the formant shifting a little bit better. I do really like that little altar boy has this drive knob. I do sometimes find that when you're making adjustments, you lose a little bit of gain. So it's nice just like natively within this plugin, you can add back a little drive. Vocal Bender has these different modulators, which just allow you to add some more effect to the vocal. Pretty cool stuff. You shine so bright like diamond white, feeling crystallized. You shine so bright like diamond white. You shine so bright like diamond white, feeling crystallized. You shine so bright like diamond white, feeling crystallized. You shine so bright like diamond white. Feeling crystallized. You shine so bright like diamond white. Feeling crystallized. You shine so bright like diamond white. Feeling crystallized. So a lot of fun you can have with both of these plugins. I'm, I'm really not sure which I would recommend because I like them both. I really like the simplicity and the drive feature of Little Alter Boy, but Vocal Bender has a lot that you can do with it and, and it also allows you to use it in real time. So I think that's really cool. If you just wanna mess around with a vocal transformer like this, I'm sure your DAW has some stock version that you can check out. If you're in Logic Pro, come down here to Pitch. You'll see here you have a vocal transformer. It definitely does a good enough job, but I upgraded to these two plugins because I really like this effect and I wanted something that just sounded a little bit better. Now, one last thing I want to show you is how you can literally create vocal harmonies. We have this little ad lib section. Javi had just tracked it. He had gone home for the night. And when I was listening to it back, I couldn't help but hearing a harmony in this first little part. So I pulled up little altar boy and I just started playing around with some different harmony options. If you are my love, if you are my love, I liked that one. If you are my love, if you are my love, if you are my love, if you are my love. But what I ended up doing was I took three different tracks, used three different pitches, and created the vocal harmony that I wanted. So let's take a listen. If you are my love, if you are my love, you can have it. Really cool stuff. In the context of the mix, it sounds pretty good. And the best part is, didn't have to drag my friend back into the studio to record three more little vocal parts. So it's a win-win for everybody. If you want more info on Vocal Bender or Little Alter Boy, I will be sure to include links in the description below for you. Those are affiliate links. So if you make a purchase using one of those links, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it helps to support this YouTube channel, helps me to bring you more videos like this one. But that's gonna wrap up today's video, my friends. Until next time, my name is Patrick, I will catch you real soon, all right? Peace.